All right, well today we're going to be uh, going through the exercise of wiring up a temporary thermostat um, in this 30 ton Aon unit. And I think this is going to become fairly standardized. We're going to be shipping thermostats out, in particular that brand, um, on most if not all of these units. If your unit has hot gas reheat, this guy right here, that needs to be enabled at a point RH1 on the terminal strip. This white and black wire right here, which goes up to this point right here. Okay, so that requires 24 volts being apl be apl applied to it, to that terminal, uh, to make it go into dehumidification mode or reheat mode. Now the problem with most, with all uh, thermostats out there on the market that have a dehumidification output is that the switches work exactly opposite the way we want them to. So on a rise of humidity, the switches actually open. We need it to close. So we could fix that by adding a relay, an ice cube relay up at the front and wiring all that in, or we could simply put in this simple switch. That all, that's all this thing is, a dehumidistat. As the humidity rises, it closes the switch. These two contacts close. Um, I think the cleanest way to do this and simplest, it's simpler than wiring in a, a new relay, is to just mount these two devices right here beside each other on these two screws. And I'll show you how that looks in a moment here. But first, let me mention that you're, prob you're going to need at least an eight wire bundle to wire up these thermostats. Now, depending on your unit, if you've got a heat pump or uh, gas heat, um, you'll of course wire it differently. In this case here, this is just a gas heat unit. And no, you'll notice I did not wire the O terminal, just the W terminals. Um, if you want to power your thermostat, you're gonna need to land something on that C terminal. So right there, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this wire right here is number eight. And now this is going to be the return feed for the uh, dehumidification call, okay? So we're gonna need to run 24 volts through that dehumidistat and then send it back to the RH terminal. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we've got the two devices mounted. Um, got two wires here. One of them's gonna wire nut to this orange guy and go back to the reheat contact. And this one, or the other one, is going to land right here. This is uh, interesting here, uh, as you undoubtedly know, you've got an RC and an RH contact here, and usually there's a jumper in there on a lot of thermostats. Well, with this particular White Rogers version, there's an internal jumper right there. And you're supposed to cut that thing if you don't want it, but we do want it, so this is kind of convenient for us. So that terminal is going to be powered when I stick the thermostat on there, so I'm just going to land this wire right on there. Here we are with the connections made, that one there. And here we have the finished product. Cover back on, thermostat in a place where you can actually work on it. Um, this thing you'll want to set to about 50% and you can hear an audible click. I guess the humidity is about 46% in here today. And that's it.